start. The Singhs in Delhi are one of India's most followed social media influencer families. So guys, are finally they are among the new influencers who have become an internet sensation overnight because of India's digital revolution. Every week, this family produces dozens of videos on YouTube and Instagram, ranging from short films to dance videos. Ramnik Singh, the head of the family, says for them, content is everything. Earlier, without internet, without this reach, there were no opportunities for people like us who are social media influencers. We are earning a lot of money as well, you know. It's a huge economic impact on our lives. And all this again is happening. Why? Because of the internet. India's digital footprint has tripled in less than a decade. 60% of Indians now have access to the internet. This expansion has changed the lives of millions of people across the country. To expand its digital footprints, the Indian government launched the Digital India program in 2015. The main aim of this ambitious program is to connect more people online from the remote areas and to transform the country into a digitally empowered society. In the bustling markets of Delhi, one of the most visible changes is the transition to digital payments. From tea stall owners to big businesses, digital payments have become their new mode of transaction. Deepak Kumar has been running this tea stall for several years. In recent months, he has noticed a clear shift among customers who prefer digital payments over cash. The majority of customers I get these days want to pay online. No one carries cash. Digital payments also make it quick and easy for us. But this massive expansion of India's digital space comes with its own setbacks. The country has the highest number of internet shutdowns imposed by state and central governments. Last year, the internet service was cut in India 106 times. And so far this year, 93 shutdowns have taken place. There are also other impediments like disinformation and growing censorship which critics say are rampant since the Hindu nationalist government came to power in 2014. For the Internet Freedom Foundation, an organization that defends online freedom, the situation in India is a cause of concern. I think India's rising instances of internet shutdowns fits into a larger a trend towards eroding democratic ideals. Online censorship in particular in India is a highly opaque process. If your speech or your website or your YouTube video gets taken down by the government, you are never told why this happened. As a result, you never have an opportunity to contest this. With a powerful blend of government initiatives to improve and expand connectivity, India's digital revolution is gathering pace. However, it comes with the fear of increasing censorship and a slide towards digital authoritarianism.